Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Homestyle Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to share another dessert recipe. And this dessert is very, very amazing and simple to make. And this is nothing but gulab jamun. This gulab jamun, I'm not going to make it with our instant gulab jamun mix or neither with the koya. Today, we're going to make it with sweet potato. The same way how we make the gulab jamun. So first to make this gulab jamun, we need the sweet potato. Here I have the sweet potato. You need to first boil the sweet potato. So what I did is I have boiled the sweet potato and remove the skin. You can boil it either outside or even uh, you know in the pressure cooker. But don't over cook this. It should be slightly soft but not too too soft. If it is too soft then you cannot make the gulab jamun. So it should be like this. You can see it's hard, but it's not too hard. If it is too mashy, then you'll have lot of moisture. So what I did is I have taken the potato, sweet potato, and I have taken a grater and I grated it till it is nice and soft. It should be very, very soft. Now I'm going to add very little into a bowl and we need to knead this nicely. We should not have any lumps. So friends, here you can see I mashed it nicely. And now in this, we're going to add the koya. You can add one tablespoon of koya or uh, one and a half tablespoon of koya and one teaspoon of all purpose flour, not too much and pinch of soda. Usually, if you are using an instant mix, then that will puff up. So these won't puff up. So we want it to be slightly soft and puff up. So we are using very little of soda pinch. And now this also we are going to knead it perfectly. And then we are going to make a nice roundels. So friends, here you can see I made a couple of them into nice roundels. Just divide into equal portions, make it into rounds, whichever sizes or whichever shapes you want, you can make them into rounds see that you don't have any cuts if you have any cuts it may you know break here is the oil it's not too hot we are going to drop them don't add too many add just three to four what you can do is take a wooden spoon and mix the oil like this this way the jamuns will rotate and they will cook equally you can see the jamuns are also rotating and they are going to color equally if you're going to put it in high flame and if you cook it inside it won't cook so it's the same way to your instant mix also any mix you need to cook it in slow flame and you need to keep rotating it till you get a nice color all the sides you can see if it is an instant mix this will slightly puff up but this is sweet potato mix it's not going to puff up we added very little soda, slightly you will get that softness. It will take at least 5 to 6 minutes to get an excellent color, dear friends. So friends, here you can see our sweet potato jamuns are getting ready. You need to keep rotating like this, then only you will get an equal color. So this is done. You can see nice slight golden in color. If you want two color, then it will be too dark. So this is a perfect color. If you want, you can add these jamuns directly into the sugar syrup or otherwise, if your uh, syrup is too hot, then let it rest for some time and then add the hot, hot jamuns in the cold sugar syrup. Syrup is not too hot, so I'm going to add the fried jamuns into the sugar syrup. So here is the syrup. I added a couple of them. I'm going to add this also. And we need to rest this for at least uh, you know one to two hours then only it will soak and we can taste the jamuns so i'm going to wait for at least two hours i'm going to show it to you how it is after two hours so friends here is our sweet potato gulab jamun ready you cannot even say that this is a sweet potato gulab jamun you can see nice shapes an excellent color it's not too dark it's not you know, too light, an excellent, perfect gulab jamun color, and it's soaked perfectly. Mm. Mm. Wow, it's not too sweet, but tasty. Mm. And I forgot to add the 
cardamom powder if you want you can add very little of cardamom powder in the in a dough also which we mix the sweet potato dough if you want you can add it in that and also you can add very little of cardamom powder in the syrup also so i forgot to add in both you can add very little of cardamom powder and if you see the gulab jamun is very very soft it's literally literally melting in my mouth and i don't even feel that i made this gulab jamun with sweet potato if you like it you all know what you need to do you need to make this fresh in your house once in a while instead of making our regular instant you know uh, pack gulab jamun you can make it with sweet potato i hope you will try it see you in another session with some more recipes but don't forget to share it make it and feed your family fresh fresh food